Hello YouTube, Dylan the Shadal Duelist here, and today I'm bringing you some Salaman Great replays. Salaman Greats are one of my favorite decks um, since Mega Capital G introduced basically his whole subscriber base to them. And he really, I feel, helped make the deck become as popular and as hyped as it is. Not to mention the fact that they're basically meta in the OCG, which, um, well, let's just say with Savage Strike coming out and the Soul Burner Structure deck coming out both in February, uh, I have a feeling a lot of people are going to be playing Salaman Great, myself included. So we have three, um, three, uh, uh, duels for you guys, and uh, I, I'm telling you guys, it was uh, it was hard to get some of these uh, duels because of the fact that uh, you know a lot of people don't like playing Sal against Salaman Grapes, and they just were rage quitting. So right here we have a um, a mirror match, and I just gotta swap that because there we go i'm down at the bottom here and uh my opponent's at the top and as you can see it is a mirror match so he starts off with the lady debug and i get the effect veiler off because i know how important the first search really is he does get veiling out but he did seem to have a uh, sanctuary in his hand already so he doesn't end off with a, a a really great board just uh sunlight wolf and sanctuary that kind of board isn't the best because you really have no disruption he does have the ash in his hand but other than that it's not much of course i didn't open up amazing either the circle was great but as you can see he's uh, he's just going to ash that so unfortunately i don't end up too much better but there is something because i do have foul and um what Foul does is, when a Salaman Great is normal or special summoned, you can special summon it from your hand. So it's good for extending plays, and also for Baguska plays as well. But I just go for my own Veilings here, search out my uh, my Sanctuary, I go for the uh, Double Sunlight Wolf, I get back my uh, Circle, and then I go into Transco Talker. Now, Transco Talker is great in Salaman Great if you play it correctly. Um, some of the Salaman Great effects make it so you can only special summon fire monsters, so if you work around that, uh, Transco Talker is a great addition to the deck because it can bring back Sunlight Wolf, it can bring back Heat Leo, um, if you also run Update Jammer like I do, there's also an, uh, OTK with that as well, so I end off at a pretty better board with, uh, Circle and Lost Wind set with, uh, Foul back to my hand. So, as you can see, I'm also going to set lo on second Lost Wind. Uh, he's going to activate Veiling here to protect his Sunlight Wolf from the first attack, but it's just going to get taken out in the second attack. He does activate, uh, he does summon Foxy, and, um, I do see the Super Poly here, so he's probably main decking Violet Chimera, which I don't do personally. I prefer to save that for um, either the uh, Mirror Match or against other Link heavy decks. So he does destroy my Lost Wind. I couldn't chain it because he is co-linked with Transco Talker, so he is protected. But that's fine because I do get um, my own Foxy. And then what uh, what actually happens is uh, Foul is great for chain blocking. Uh, same with Gazelle, really. And that's why you almost always want Gazelle in your hand uh, with Foxy, is because... Uh, you can special summon Gazelle either when you summon Veilinx or uh, in terms of Foul for Foxy because uh, it also triggers off normal summoning. Uh, you can make sure that your opponent can't ash you when you're trying to get a search. So Foul and Gazelle are really important uh, parts. So the guy just scoops. He knows that um, he can't win. I have the Roar in my hand. I have Falco. I could go, uh, I believe if I played it right, I could possibly go for for a Baguska play, but uh, right now with Wolf, Transco Talker, I believe I had planned on going for um, Heat Leo, and yeah, so that is that replay. So we're going to go down against For Hire, and um, you're going to see here, if you disrupt For Hire's normal summon, it, it's basically game over for them, unfortunately. Now, I did misplay here. Um, I did chain Circle last when... I should have, and I'm not sure if Foul, I could have chained Foul or not, uh, but I did chain Circle last, so he was able to disrupt the Circle, which is okay, because I still got Foxy's uh, search off, so it's not the worst. So, um, 
so yeah, so I, I will at least get uh, one search off. Unfortunately, I, 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 I mill two more foxies in another circle, so that's not the greatest. So I just I go for the standard uh, double sunlight wolf with circle and roar. Uh, Banner, uh, sorry, face down. So I do have some disruption, and as you can see, Circle does come in clutch for the protection, I, and I do have uh, that. So he does uh, try to get his For Hires effect up. I'm like, nope, I know For Hires, if you interrupt their normal summon, it's basically game over. And then this caught me off guard. This made me really glad I set Circle, and that is Eater of Millions. I don't know if Eater of Millions is standard in... Um, in for hire, I've personally never seen it in for hires, so I'm not 100% sure, but uh, yeah, it made me really glad I set Circle, because, well, Circle is a rota for the deck, it's also a layer of protection, uh, should you set it back down through an effect, uh, basically it makes it so that your Salaman Great Link monsters that were uh, reincarnation linked, are unaffected by other card effects. So instead of Eater of Millions banishing it, it just uh, it gets destroyed and he takes damage. And I get to my phase, and yeah, I mean, I have I have Lady Debug and Gazelle in hand. I search out Mir. Mir special summons itself. I get Sunlight Wolf um, to uh, bring back Foul. He does destroy it, but I do use my Veilings. And as you can see, I'm just popping off. Uh, I get Update Jammer, which is what I was talking about before. So basically, how the OTK works is you summon Update Jammer, and then you use Update Jammer uh, to link up into Transco Talker. So what Update Jammer does, it will allow Transco Talker to attack twice per turn. And then Transco Talker can revive Update Jammer back, and since they'll be co-linked, uh, Transco Talker will buff them all up. And as you can see, he's already um, co-linked with Sunlight Wolf. So the ending board is going to be pretty devastating. And again, he just knows I'm, I'm going to OTK him. Transco Talker and Update Jammer alone is enough for an OTK. So throwing Sunlight Wolf into it, it th there was no hope. And I did have the Roar in hand and then uh, another Circle set. So the For Hire player definitely knew that he was done for. And this is the thing. For, um, Salamangrates are really explosive if you get them off, and they just keep getting more and more consistency cards, which is really nice. So next up, we have uh, a really weird Destiny Hero deck. I, I don't really know how to describe it. It was just a, a very weird um, Destiny Hero uh, Edge Imp deck. I, I, at first... I thought that this was uh, that this was just going to be um, you know a regular fright for deck, but no, the Destiny Hero plays really caught me off guard. So I'm like, okay, I'm getting rid of that field spell in your face down card. I'm gonna get a search off, get Foxy, and then from Foxy, I get I do grab the Mirror because that's the only option. But luckily, Mirror does special summon itself, and I know. Some people don't run Mirror in their builds. Personally, I like it because it's almost never dead. Yes, if you have it in your hand in your opening turn or you draw it normally, you don't get the special summon through its effect. But you can, if you have another Salamangrate card in your hand, special summon it through that effect. So... Personally, I feel Mir is almost never dead, and it, it, it's, a, it's a combo extender. Because as you can see, I use it, I go into Sunlight Wolf, normal, I summon Spinny, use Sunlight Wolf to add Foxy back to my hand, go for Transco Talker, and then use Transco Talker to bring Sunlight Wolf back out, because I know Transco Talker is going to buff itself and Sunlight Wolf up to the point where we can get over um, Dangerous. So, unfortunately, he does get the uh, Destiny Hero Dreamer engraved, so I can't destroy... Um, Dangerous this turn, and he does pop out uh, Destiny Hero Dystopia guy, and this is... I was reading this guy because like he he's a three thousand level ten, um, and he seems like he's an okay card, but I mean, Lost Wind, just Lost Wind. Uh, that that was it. He did manage to save himself from destruction for that turn, which is totally fine because. I hard draw a second circle. I have Foxy in hand and Lady Debug with Jack Jaguar. Jack Jaguar isn't too big of a deal here. Um, 
I will get Foxy, and I will, I believe I get, Fowl. yeah, I grab Fowl, and then I just, I link up into Heat Leo. He does use Solemn Strike, but, I mean, sorry, Solemn Judgment, but that's fine, because Gazelle activates, and then I can bring out Fowl, use Spinny, and then Spinny, again, Spinny's another great card. You almost always want to see Foxy, Gazelle, and Spinny in your opening hand, because... They facilitate so many plays. It's my standard board usually when I open that up is reincarnated sunlight wolf roar set with um with uh, stallion here or stallio because stallio is basically um, I mean it, it brings out a salaman great from your deck and that's always good in modern Yu Gi Oh searching out from your deck I mean look at summon sorceress. It's always good to search out from your deck. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. And what's great is with, when Spinny is Xyz material, it bypasses having to be banished when it's revived from its effect because technically it didn't leave the field. So recycling Spinny that you can always use it again next turn is great. And then I am going to go into another Heat Leo since it was uh, this, my first one was destroyed. Stalio's effect activates to bounce his fusion monster and again. The guy just knew there was no hope. I had a 3300 Transco Talker and a 2800 Heat Leo on the field. There was no way this guy... I mean, he had Plasma and Polymerization in his hand. There's no way this guy was going to survive this turn. And Well, he, he would have survived. Um, don't get me wrong. Because he had the draw guy on, he, he would have survived. But he would have had the top deck. I mean, the Vion... I don't know, depending on what else he was running, the Vion maybe may have saved him. I don't know. All I know is that that is what happened. So, those are what I have for you guys today. Um, if you enjoyed Salaman Greats and you want to see more of them, do let me know. Salaman Greats are one of the main decks I'm running right now, along with Orcus. And um, I'm definitely going to be bringing some Orcus uh, duels because I am in love with Orcus. The new support absolutely breaks them, and I do believe, honestly, Orcus may be meta. Salaman Great and Orcus are, uh, are definitely definitely meta contenders, especially when they hit the TCG. Salaman greats are incredibly explosive, and I mean, by the time the Orca support reaches TCG, who knows, we, we would have had a couple of ban lists by then, more than likely. I know we have one coming up, so we shall see, but again, if you guys want to see more Salaman great duels, uh, Orcus duels, or if you have a deck that you want to suggest to me, make sure to leave the uh, suggestion in the comments down below. And if you have any cards you would like me to review as well, leave those as well down in the comments. Um, and if you enjoy this content, guys, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and definitely ring that notification bell because you know how YouTube can be. Ring the notification bell so you always know so you always know when I upload. Until next time, YouTube, this is Dylan the Shadal Duelist signing out.